in a stadium that houses a massive pirate ship. So here we are in. We've seen from some other schools around the country throughout this bowl season. It's been it's been very moving, I think. An on-field moment of silence of sorts for the players and what Mike's family said they really wanted to have happen today. Not easy, but as we talk to Mississippi State players, Oh, well, who's... Third and very short. Yeah, Will Rogers may be the most unique air raid quarterback from Mike Lee. On that responsibility, very young in his college career, a handoff on third and short, and I don't know if they got there. I and the center and not a lot of room to move out those big guys I mean it is a fascinating matchup uh How do you think uh, Mississippi State two? Led by their quarterback, Tommy DeVito, who transferred from Syracuse, really ended up having a great year.
better protected here. So DeVito's going to throw the ball on first down. And Team already. So the Bulldogs defense, Forbes there in coverage and took a hand. the ball. Mississippi State's defense maybe not quite as dominant as Illinois, but they had a good year. And Notable pass deflection for Randy Charlton this year. He mm. knocked down the two point attempt in the Egg Bowl victory. Yep. where Mississippi State's offense comes on the field for the second time, a proper introduction for their record-setting quarterback. back next year <laughs> how good is that huh which you know I was I, we were I didn't see any Imagine the numbers he has a chance to put up for his career with another full season if he stays healthy. He's going deep here. Very aggressive defense, a lot of man coverage, and a safety sitting in the hole. Illinois misses. who was in the running for the Jim Thorpe Award. One corner is not here. Sidney Brown, outstanding safety. Also They play a lot of man coverage, and they, they play a lot of man coverage with inside. Back 
backfield. He takes the carry here and gets five yards. I'm glad you mentioned that because Marks is a matchup problem for them. Robinson again, and it sort of clanged off of Robinson, hung in the air for a dramatic moment. Yeah, you know. Ocean Rogers kind of looking his way, and the pass is incomplete. Williams couldn't find it. it was hanging in the air. Zach Arnett, Rod talked about his Both teams been here for about Handoff for a short gain on first down. By the way, before we went to the break on that punt, So far, DeVito throws across the middle into traffic, and that pass is caught. Yeah, right at the end here, and you see Jalen Green. Williams, who's the big playmaker for the Illini on the outside, a catch and run for a nice game. For a wide receiver he was a quarterback they moved him to receiver and he is outstanding
curious to see how well they run the ball without Chase Brown. You know, Chase Brown was, I believe, second in the country. Chase Brown like with that run. He is built low to the So an injury timeout here in Tampa. First quarter, still scoreless. Hopefully, Colin Duncan's okay. We'll be back. Yeah, you know, and, and uh, he was serious about those uh, Josh McCray in for the first time in the backfield. McCray gets the carry left side, and he will be forced. next year so they could be set at running back yeah, a little bit of an audition for him in this game he splits out So he's going to get ready for the NFL draft. He was disappointed, though. He told us he really was looking forward. Spot. Yeah, they brought the two backers, page number 16 and Watson Fort.
good. This season, Allstate will celebrate every field goal and extra point made by participating universities by making a donation. Mike Leach, David Cut Cutcliffe, and Bielema were a threesome, he said. They were hanging out. Uh from the state of Florida who played great against Michigan late in the year. What a big hit from him. Down and long, and that throw is also incomplete. Trying to hit Griffin again. Yeah, see those, those inside routes. Who's really holding up against the Bulldogs passing? Someone just completely forgot about Keith Randolph. And how do you forget about Randolph? Because he is a big time. Contest this in the backfield on the punter. There is a flag thrown. The punt was received inside the. The kicking of the receiving team player was blocked into oh, the punter. Okay. Yeah. Probably should have been called, but not that time. That was the right call. Final three minutes of the first quarter. It's this 3 3 5 uh, aggressive Rocky Long style defense um, is really to be.
So that play just got blown up. I think Emmanuel Forbes <laughs> was a big reason why. <laughs> you know, when you say great career but he wanted to play third and eight just a three man Any way, shape, or form. I expect some sort of a tweak the next time they get the ball. A line I have. Four yard punt and a nine yard return. Sunday, two easy. North Dakota State. I, it's, it is truly incredible yeah. the what success they've had. Multiple head. folded up paper with just a few plays, but um, his quarterback, Will Rogers, has the, the freedom to get your good receivers on the safety. That's Quan Martin, a safety. He couldn't see him, but had he, had he spotted Harvey, that would have been one of the easiest touchdown throws. that they had to deal with getting he did. through the memorial service and keeping the team together and some recruiting, all those. Leeches Bulldogs on the move. All the tributes on the helmets and in the stands today for this reliable.
after TCU's dramatic win against Michigan in the semifinals, Sonny Dykes thinking about Coach. Young man, very valued part of this staff in Starkville. He in the bull. Now they're starting to get a little bit of traction. Austin Williams, the SEC football scholar athlete. In April, he said, "No doubt, Mike Leach told him just to lope, man. Don't, don't go." Working on the safeties inside there, Kendall Smith, number seven, and Quan Martin. They tend to play a little bit more picket fence down here and not man coverage. picket fence zone so he thought it was man you got number two Bailey sitting Gets the ball back. Let's go down to tip. Hey, Matthew Bailey was on the end of that thrown ball. He thinks has a chance to be one of the next great Illini defensive backs. Williams. And with that extra effort, gets the Illinois first down. Some of that. Uh, uh, 
and coordinating that defense. They expect the success level to remain. Nice move by Reggie Love, who got to. this year all-american running back not playing in this game but reggie love with an excellent career marks in just about every statistical category this season at Illinois. Completed. I would expect to see for an injured defensive player. All right, back here in Tampa, where Zach Arnett's Mississippi State defense. down to the 45 for a gain of a couple yards to set up third and long. Yeah, it, it is tough sledding inside. Third and eight here. Part of the field, Rob, where we may be thinking four down territory. Yeah. You saw DeVito come up, clutch, and look like, well, I can get rid of the ball. I got time. But there was. Cross that goal line. Oh, so close. It was a really good punt. Just. like last year losing records so far yeah the SEC has struggled in some of these games that, that
Mississippi State, by those standards, actually has most of their players on the field. Lines took a hit. Tariq Barnes was in pursuit. As good as any secondary out there. So now third and six. Man coverage. Hand off on first down and a gain of a couple yards outside. How do we have the personnel to right. play that style again next year? Another pass deflected at the line. He said he's been with Brett Bielema since he was 17 and was recruited. He said, Team just takes the ball away over and over. Just narrowly missed out on a spot in Big Ten championship game. They're in a bowl game for the first time since 2019. And with B1 and the Purdue game. They had chances in that game to win. Those are two that I think they feel
Isaiah Williams into Mississippi State territory, and it's tough to get him down all the way to the. first half he's been the standout this one is complete left side that's Casey Washington who's been To the tight end. That's Ryman, who I maybe the need wasn't down. They never blew the whistle. After this, and we just hope that he's all right. Yeah, he said that um, his friends and family remind. That was sort of strange what happened at the end of that play. His shoe came off also. Yeah, I can't tell. Great ball skills with all those picks, 14 in his career. You know, he'll probably... Wow. Hard to do. Handoff straight ahead. Big hole and a nice run. get something inside like that. Good long drive for the Illini. A little pistol formation. Hand off McC Roll him away from a little pressure. Give him a run pass option. Yeah, maybe get the ball. was at South Carolina the way that he's used and the ability to run like a running back and to
That should be a running play. She didn't count it as a pass. Third down here. DeVito's going to try to sneak it. Emmanuel Forbes already back on the field. Yeah, he told us, you know, he loves. Now, see the penetration? Good cutting inside. Crumedy gets into the backfield. to know which way to run that. Ten plays, 77 yards, almost five minutes on that drive, and the DeVito touch. The app, ESPN Deportes, Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, just a terrific game. That's a pretty good quarter. Years, yeah, in Washington State. Great success in Pullman. This one's going to be a touchback, kind of. For 101 yards, and then finishing off that drive with the quarterback. All three timeouts, two and a half plus minutes. Yeah, the, the month long layout.
six foot four, 220 pound red shirt sophomore. Watch the tightrope. to carry. Keith Randolph made the tackle under two minutes to go. Yeah, when Will Rogers audibles to a Receiver toward the goal line. It was wide, wide open. Yeah, open. Him. Completely. And instead, it's a completion to your quarterback. That's kind of cool. Rodgers will throw a medal and almost Ooh. another interception. Will Rogers, really smart quarterback, but he was having some problems in this first half. Look. Coming up on the TikTok halftime report, who will rule the Rose Bowl? We still get the Rose. I, I think they're sufficiently motivated, but this is a Penn State team that hasn't played in that game since when they... Field goal, but they've got two downs in a minute to go here. Place kicking has not been a strength for the most part. a problem particularly when you get the lion eye playing man coverage now they, they, they are going to go Mississippi State, very second, 30 seconds. So. 
and what the college football world is doing to honor him. We've mm -hmm. seen a very spirited game here. trying to make sure that they would do their job today. Massimo Biscardi, 38-yard field goal. But right now, defensively, both squads are ahead and dictating. We've seen a couple. Nine seconds on the clock, so you figure it's just a squib-type kick here. Illinois didn't use their... Kick is going to bounce all the way down. in the second half and you know on the Mississippi State side I, I'm expecting them to get the ball a little bit more Quarter. Okay, so I guess we decided that is the end of the quarter. If, the, if, that. if this were at the 25, he probably wouldn't be doing it. But because the return got all the way outside. and maybe two so I think he's going to win this challenge yeah choice you don't have enough time to run a play and get more yardage and then try a kick
here for this game after being in Phoenix for the Fiesta Bowl and that scene. Mm hmm. up again just a, a, a delay of a minute or two <laughs> well, I know you're gonna get ball away the Illini defense very impressive Dave Fleming Rod Gilmore Tiffany Blackman back with you here from early in the third quarter. Yeah, not easy to do against Illinois. Their defense, super impressive. The Illini. Change. He simply said, we're losing, we got to play better. He did give me an update, though, on defensive end Jordan. the football stuff yeah. uh, he's had a lot to deal with in his first three four weeks as a head coach at Syracuse and you know being beaten up and not protected he said that was really big for him during He is much better in my estimation with his footwork as a quarterback. comes out I think that's going to be ruled as a catch and then a strip and a fumble A move. I, I counted a step. I'm not sure he got a second step in. Previous play.
The question is, can they convert? They need to. the defense and to the back of the end zone. Did he get his right foot down? That is a big question. down along with the foot. I don't know. Yeah. That was close. Yeah. Now remember, you need in indis. Other two, to me, you can almost see just a tiny sliver of green where the foot stays. A tremendous recognition by Will Roger, Rogers about the defense, where the wheel. substituting their judgment as to what they would have called they need to see Great play by Justin Robinson. Yeah. 13 plays, 75. yard season again today still has a chance to get there let's let's assume he has a yards and now that first Bulldogs touchdown to tie it up in the fourth quarter. Go 
get the ball back. Game now tied 10 to 10. Tonight it is Monday night. It is Monday night football. It might be. Tough call. Yeah. Those two are way up on the list. I, I still think Patrick Mahomes is probably the answer. Second and a long two. Clay. And slanted to the right side. That's where the ball was going. Ten yard penalty. Second down. Four. Starts today. Is, I think today 65. is 65. Yeah, ties uh, ties a record for the most starts. Mentioning him. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> I don't think he's given up a sack all season. He hasn't given up one today. The middle of the pass is complete to Griffin Moore, a tight end who has not played a whole lot. Get a lot of real estate. Well, that's a huge conversion for DeVito and Illinois. Uh, see? <laughs> so he's mad at himself for buying into the pump fake. He is. shots and you're going to get an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty against Preston.
to see uh, he shows up. So the Mutombo did not get the penalty. No, it wasn't the Mutombo. It was... I get it, but keep the flag in your pocket, that right? That doesn't seem too extreme. Yeah. No. He wasn't in his face. has been a real problem. It's started to pick up now even more. Yeah, and he's up against Young, 93. That one is complete. I think that was targeting. Didn't look like the crown of the helmet. I don't either. So they don't stop. They brought that stunt right at him. And, man, that was a lot to try and deal with. Another flag incomplete. And I think that may be another hold against him. That's why he's upset. He is really upset. Big, big mistake. That's two huge penalties on this drive against Mississippi State. Now the run play. Zach Arnett calling the defense as the head coach here today.
after the catch. Fourth overall in FBS. And you can see why. By the way, you see that. Sacked. Another sack for the Bulldogs. I mean, if you're Mississippi State, you're looking at this. Second and 12. They own the line of scrimmage. And I think no flags. Now it's fourth down. <laughs> well, Well, during eight minutes to go in this game, Illinois. So the way you come through it is you, is you have the discipline to do your job more times in a row than the guy across from you. of the two picks in the first half and to get another drive going facing one of the very best Coach who took his job under similar circumstances years ago. Result of the play as a first down. Yeah, there you see the jump on the right side, but Pat Fitzgerald was. The 
after the longest run play of the game. Now another long one for the Bulldogs out to the 40. He was trying hard to stay focused yesterday, wasn't he? He was. Front with Newton and Randolph and Avery. It's tough to run inside against them, tough to run right at them. to the opposite sideline on the money. No question about his arm strength. The center, the Quinston Sharp snapped it, or just yeah, never. sort of lost. To the 4,000 mark for okay. the season. Shotgun snap. And it gives that safety the ability to close on balls and to help the corners. But the Bulldogs you have to punt. Yeah, and this Randolph. is Randolph, six foot five. Fourth and 12, the punt goes into the end zone. So that was not perfect execution by the special team. Drew Brees was the MVP, even though Purdue lost that game. That's how well he played. Well, he did. Uh, 
A nice gain of six yards. Oh, we talked about how he's got that drive. He's hard to take. DeVito throws, and that one is caught. Breaking to the middle. Casey Washington, first down. Along your lines, hey, but there's no reason for us to yep. hurry. They want this to be the last possession, yep. period. Exactly. I'm coming from the edge and Watson destroyed the back that tried to pick him up again number Tackled at around the 37. I think that's where forward progress will be. So Timeout. Illinois timeout. calls a timeout. Illinois. The They're biggest first. play of the game coming up Media right timeout. here. Here in Tampa, different setting, excellent game, spirited game, 10 to 10. And he's the third receiver in, matched up on a safety. They saw that right away, and let's go after him. And a fair catch. No, no fair catch signal around the 20. That's where the ball. Uh, and I think the Bulldogs would love nothing more, Rod, than to uh, honor their coach who passed away so
that this game would come down to Mississippi State having the ball, a chance. Clock management. They've got two timeouts left, plenty of time. Will Rogers throws middle. That pass is caught. It'll be a first down into Illinois territory. If he does it here in this one, you figure Bulldogs have a great chance to win. Up. Play the drive coming up here. Clock stops at 59 seconds. But they are being very conservative here in terms of letting the time wind off. I mean, they, they haven't had And now time out with the clock short. Tremendous little counter action. They could run it and not worry about throwing it or taking a sack. You got 12 seconds now. You have a time.
Nothing more important than ball security right here for Mississippi State. A hit after the play. I, I, I may have been as much of a flop as a real hit. Contact there. Good no call, I think. So the final timeout for the Bulldogs. So it'll be Massimo Biscardi. Let's ice him again. I would I would imagine that's probably true. Biscardi and Illinois will. Ultimately won the job back was very solid made a huge pressure kick late in the game against Auburn. deciding it but, but it's for Mississippi the, State the end result it's the great Four seconds to go.
down wow. instead of that. So now with three seconds, <laughs> you're going to have to do something. <laughs> Mississippi State defensive backs are back at the 10 yard line and the 20 yard line. Short. They'll pitch it back. Here's Williams. So dangerous in the open field. He's going to throw it backwards. That's. Oh my goodness. <laughs> For a while, that was about as good as you could execute a lateral play to get down the field. Uh, yeah, it looked like they. Mississippi State and for Illinois a disappointing finish to a great year a line I have a lot to be To him. That was the veto that couldn't get it to him. The play is a touchdown, Mississippi State, and the game is over. Give both teams credit, not just Mississippi State, Illinois, for honoring Coach Leach all throughout this lead up to this. more coaching careers in the last generation of That's coaches right. than Mike. He's got folks all over the country. Still trying to make her way to the quarterback, Will Rogers.